So we are going to create a flow to download all the attachments. So this is a list, as you can see in this list, uh, this first item. So the item opens up. We are able to see that this has attachment field. Okay, so something can be attached here, but on the main form, you cannot. See that. So as we can see, the second item has an attachment. There is a PDF file, COVID vaccine. Okay. When we go back to our list, we can see that there is another attachment. There is a doc file. Instead of PDF file, there is a doc file. And then. The fourth does not have any attachment. Okay. Fifth one doesn't have any attachment. And six was has an attachment. Same for with dog pipe. There are three attachments in this six items. So this is a, a list I have created. A simple list also gives you the option for attachment. And info path list can be created. In info path designer, this has been created. Okay, and this is the fields. As shown here. Okay. Uh, see if this is SharePoint Online. If this was on premise, this would have been saved in .xml file. For that, what you can do is you can run, you can download all the XML files. All the entries will be saved in XML file. Download all uh, the XML file with the attachment. Then you would have to run this script. So you would have to make changes to the script. The input location will be where you would have saved all your XML files, and the output location would be where you want your attachment, the the one that we are going to fetch, where it to be. So we want it to be kept there. Okay. Other than this, so as you can see, get the attachment node. We have to get the attachment node in this dollar attachment is equals to dollar file content dot. So this is the attachment node. So uh, you can open the XML. It will open up in any browser and it will show you the whole hierarchy. Right. Uh, I'll show you here. So for this one, this attachment, the hierarchy would be, it is in my fields, right? Under my fields, you see uh, everything goes down my fields under then you have data fields under data fields we have paper list item under that we have attachment okay so my fields data fields and in data fields you have attachment so this would be my fields data my fields dot data fields dot attachment and this is how we will run that okay so this was i'll put this in the description you can run this script and get the attachment for the xml file on on premises okay for your info path now coming back to on shaper online we have this six items in this six items three have attachment and three does not have attachment two items the two items are identical. The third and the sixth are doc file vaccine. Here is the second is the PDF. So we are going to design Power Automate flow to fetch all that. So what we'll we do is this is an info path. Uh, we'll keep all the attachment in this new library. So if you see in the library we have right now three items, so it should 
fetch those two items and should be available in this library. So you can keep it wherever you like. So let's create one. So what I'm going to do is this time we are going to create a scheduled uh, cloud flow. So download attachments from all right. So repeat after one on every Sunday. Okay. So the recurrence what we have selected is runs on every week on Sunday. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to get the items of the list. So what we'll do is we'll get items. So this is a site. The list is in the path forms. That is, that is so we have got all the items. Now what we have to do is it so in this case we have six items. We have to iterate through each type each of the items one by one. So what we'll do is we apply to each. We'll have a control that is apply to each from previous step. Dynamic window will open up, but we we take we will take ID. Okay, we will take the ID value. Apply to each and from each we will want to get attachments. Get attachments. So you see in SharePoint we have get attachments. Okay, so we've got the attachment, we've got the items, and from each item, we've got the attachment. Okay. Now, there is no direct option to download the attachment and keep it. So, what we have to do is uh, we will get all the content of those attachments and then put it in a file. So, SharePoint in SharePoint we have get attachment content get attachment content site Item file identifier we'll take the file identifier. Okay. So it has applied to each here as well. The value that we get from the attachment, it will take the body value and 
get attachment content okay now after we get the attachment content we want to put it we want to put it in a file so So we want to create that file into the new library. Make it file name. We will we want to have the same name as the previous one. That is the file name and the file content will be the attachment content. Okay. This is it. Oh, data filter, that's fine. All right. Slow fail. Slow. Save fail because the code operation was in the message. All right. So as uh, we've made some changes to the flow, let's see now. So it runs on every Sunday, get item, we got the item. Okay, so say for example, one to six, first item comes here, it gets the value one, it takes the attachment, any attachment that it has, it gets attachment. Now that attachment is saved in a variable, now it's passed on to the next one. It selects an output from the previous steps. From that attachment, we take the body and we get the attachment content. Site, list, we take the ID, file identifier, right? And we create a file with that attachment content. We save it into the new location in lib, right? In the same site, a file name would be same, display name, and the file content would be the attachment content. This has been saved. Now let's test it. Okay. So it's and the first two this is last no dependent action succeed. Okay, I know this so it we go, let's see, see we have our attachment, the doc file and the pdf file, what is happening here is, code, as it says, it did the first one, the second one, Third one also succeeded, fourth one also succeeded, fifth one also succeeded, and the sixth one then error. Right. No dependent action succeeded. The sixth one creating a file. So sixth one had an issue. Sixth one had a doc file. It is already the same name file exists. Okay, let's edit. They should override the existing one, but it is not able to do that. Right. Create file should override it, but it's not. So Going to allow checking of the 
state P could allow shrinking would have been here, which I have off now. Okay. So see if I delete this two files. This time our flow will run. Okay. Test. This time our flow will run and we will not get an error. But the output files will be two only. And seconds, see, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. All right. We have no issues. We go and check. We have two files in there. Right. So our flow is working. We are able to extract all the attachment from the list and save it in a library.